Greetings, blurbs about YouTube features that they keep pushing out whether we want them or not. Yeah, in case you're not aware, uh, YouTube has been doing a whole bunch of stuff with generative content and AI things and just stuff for creators to supposedly make our lives better or something. I really don't know uh, if that's going to ever be the case, but they're trying some things. So let's just start here. This has been going on for at least a year, maybe two, where it's got these really basic few word responses to comments. Some might be like, oh, my God, glad you're back with the new videos. Okay. And it'll be like, more to come, or glad you like them, or hey, thanks. And then that could be my comment just as a quick reply. So I don't even have to think of anything. I could just type it in or, you know, click it and it types it in for me. And then that's that, which I've never done. I think that this is you know, these are terse, kind of useless replies, and it feels very insincere. However, within the last week or so, I've started noticing that they've not only been getting more involved, but they seem to be pulling from a database of, like, my own work, my own replies. So here we go. So for instance, um, somebody's saying here that uh, they've been following me for years, glad to see me posting again. And here's one of the responses that it came up with. I appreciate you sticking around for so long. Really glad to be back at it. Okay, reasonable. Uh, thanks for being patient. I've been taking a break, but I'm back to it now. I mean, I kind of have been taking a break, but it's, again, just kind of interesting that it's getting more involved with the replies. Let me find another one. Oh, like, here's one. For sure, Alec of Technology Connections wouldn't approve. And this is like, ha ha, he'd probably hate it, but I love it. Crying, laughing emoji. Yeah, it's starting to add emojis now. And words like, ha ha. And also this one, yeah, yeah he's got to have that perfect minimalist setup. I prefer a little fun. <laughs> what does it mean? Where does that come from? So yeah, nothing too crazy, just a little more involved. But uh, let me find some of these others that made me really stick an eyebrow up. All right, here we go. Somebody's like, I get the feeling that you had so much more enjoyment doing this blurb since it allowed you to do something normal for a bit. And then this response here is like, yeah, I'm a little burnt out on the super high tech stuff. So it was refreshing to work on something a little simpler. What? It's simulating my own burnout now. Uh <laughs> yeah. And then this one here, right here, it's like, you know, best wishes with your home. And one of these responses, I appreciate it. I'm really enjoying this new space. Now I have said this almost verbatim previously, and this that it's replying to doesn't necessarily imply that I have a new space, but it definitely took this from somewhere. And again, I think it's reading my previous replies. And then there's this one. Someone says the floating head of disapproving Alec was appreciated. And the reply is like, he was just watching to make sure I wasn't going to knock it over. <laughs> well, this one here, I don't know who asked for this collaboration, but it's good to see a video about it. And then this reply, you can guess who didn't ask. <laughs> What? And then some of the weirder ones on the Duke Nukem G Fuel video. Okay. Uh, somebody said here, I wouldn't be surprised if the scoop was buried in the powder, etc., etc. And then this one right here, the, <laughs> this reply, it's not lost. They just haven't released the scoop yet. <laughs> it's coming soon. <laughs> I'll have to check if they're using a proprietary blend that requires a special scoop. I uh, like, and then this one here, Clint, you have a lot more faith in that lid than I do, my friend. I'd have a finger or thumb over that when shaking. This one here, I've got a whole video on lid safety coming soon. <laughs> so don't worry. <laughs> they just keep getting dumber. This person says, over a decade ago, I tried to buy G Fuel in Canada. I was quickly disappointed by my country's lack of enthusiasm for this stuff. And then this here, I've never had much luck with the Canadians either. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Nice. Back to the blurbs. It's a whole new kind of blurb. Oh, this one cracked me up. Uh, somebody says, it'd be difficult to get a, a new Duke Nukem game in today's PC cancel culture, not without neutering him anyway. And the response is like, it's just a sugary drink. No one's canceling anything. <laughs> I'm not sure I see the connection, but that's just me. Sure, YouTube. Or right, you got to talk more like Duke Nukem when reviewing Duke Nukem products. I'm sorry, but it's not in the budget to hire someone to do a Duke Nukem voiceover. Yeah, we ain't got the money for that. Oh, and here we go. Yeah, this really made me think. It's completely ripping off my previous replies. So, like this one right here. I mean, you know, yeah. I think that was almost verbatim a comment that I left on this very video. Oh, yeah, right here. Right here. I mean, you know, yeah. See, I left that five days ago to this 
comment, and and now it's suggesting basically the same thing. So it's completely training itself on my own words now, which I you know I guess is something, but I, I never asked it to do this. I, I never even got to opt in or out. <laughs> oh God, this one I remember this one. Five hundred percent of your daily value in vitamin B, y'all gonna be peeing very very yellow for days. This reply, it is indeed a beverage that would make you have a hard time finding a toilet bowl that can hold all of that liquid. <laughs> And again, they're just making up the most random stuff. Like these replies here about saying, oh, I'd get sent out for a pack of smokes, but never ended up buying candy. It just felt wrong. Or I was always the kid who'd get sent for the smokes and would come back with the wrong pack. I was never any kid who got sent out for any smokes. But you know, you kind of get the point. It's either strangely accurate to something I would say, or it's just completely making stuff up. Like this reply here, I was born in 1969 and I feel you, they were everywhere. Or this one even has the little out of order tag. No, no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't have that at all. Anyway, yeah, I'm sure this is going to continue to evolve over time. But let me show you another thing that they just started doing. Something that so far I've only had enabled on my LGR Birds channel of all things. And that is this inspiration tab here under the channel content. And it's uh, presented under the, ad, or the, the guise of brainstorming video ideas. But really it's just this AI a standard prompt kind of deal, but it's tailored to each individual YouTube channel is going to be rolling out to, I guess. So it comes up not only with video ideas, but uh, titles and thumbnails and outlines and scripts and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, rare bird sightings on camera, a compilation of the most unexpected and exciting bird sightings. Nah, 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 nah. And then here's like an outline of all these different things and you know bullet points of all the stuff you should put in the video. Not, not going to make the video, not yet, but you can have it add more stuff like, you know, um, have this idea presented in the point of view of Duke Nukem. And then it'll redo the outline and all the other stuff with that added to it. And, uh, yeah, basically it's just <laughs> added like Duke Nukem kind of quotes, I guess, or what it thinks is that. You calling this bird rare? This is the king of the sky, baby. <laughs> Today we're going to take a look at blah, 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 blah. I just... I don't know, I don't know, like, why? Really, why? If you're having this much trouble coming up with, like, ideas or, you know, anything, do you really want to uh, have a YouTube channel to begin with? And then, you know, generating thumbnails and stuff like that is just, just seems like such a bad idea. It's just bad at it. For instance, I debt fying common bird calls and bipped calls. <laughs> Needs more wood grain. I, I don't like AI thumbnails. I don't like AI a lot of stuff. But this in particular, just having it built into YouTube and feeding it information off of your channel directly to come up with this stuff. Because it, there's definitely... Yeah, there you go. All right. So uh, it is definitely pulling from the actual channel itself. Because every time I've gotten in here, it's come up with completely different things. And some of them are very, very tailored to the things that are already on the, uh, the channel. Again, I wish I could try this actually on my main LGR or the Blurbs channel, but the feature isn't active yet. Yeah, so it's got all this stuff about these, you know, pileated woodpeckers and things, because I definitely got that going on. Yeah, here we go. Squirrel versus bird feeder. Epic battle royale. That's a common theme on the LGR Birds channel. But it's just to come up with this grandiose idea of it. A dramatic battle for dominance. It's captured on camera as a hungry squirrel attempts to pilfer a bird feeder. Okay, what kind of stupid titles would have come up with squirrel versus bird feeder the ultimate showdown feathered fury versus fuzzy foe bird feeder battle royale squirrel sabotage can the bird and then these these thumbnails i just <laughs> add dramatic text overlay here we go that's not a text overlay at all and what did it do to the blue jay oh my word so look i'm so conflicted over uh, the idea of having this built into the channel, especially since I haven't asked for it to be, and all these things being trained on my content. And then where's all this stuff coming from? Whose art is this taken from? Is it looking at all these thumbnails that other people have created? Yeah, probably. I just don't... Uh, I'm not fully on board with any of that yet until I, until I start seeing, you know, more um, uh, accountability and transparency in how this is actually being generated. You know, it would also be nice to just opt into some of this stuff. 
or be able to opt out. But I, as far as I know, neither one of those is an option. At the moment, uh, all these things are just happening to creators, whether we want it or not. You know, not to mention the fact that if you're really having that much trouble coming up with a video idea, maybe making videos isn't the thing for you. I wonder if I can uh, just have it come up with a video idea for another channel. Mm. Yep, certainly can. Wow, these definitely look like uh, LGR kind of video ideas. And again, with these terrible, terrible thumbnails. What is it? It's just making stuff up. And again, this is not even my channel here. This is, this is a completely different channel. I'm just asking it to come up with video ideas for another channel entirely. And I was just coming up with this, this made up VR headset thing for Windows 95. It was not a true VR headset like the ones we see today. Use clunky head mount on display with limited resolution, blah, blah, blah. Oh wow, look at this one. This is almost a real thing. See, I, I do not plan, I mean, I will not be using any of this stuff to actually create videos. Uh, the only time I'm using it is just to uh, fart around here and see what kind of stuff YouTube is foisting on us now. And um, <laughs> I don't know, I was just oddly curious about like, okay, this is just straight up built in to YouTube now. Great, wonderful. Uh, that's it for this. I just want to talk about this, this strangeness that's going on with all these AI features, whether or not anybody's even asking for it. Here it is. Thanks for watching.